Hello everybody and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. It is now the last day of summer and I have a lot to talk about. I did some mining today and I completely crushed my goals from the last time I went mining. I made it down farther than I've ever made it down before, which is excellent. I learned that I have enough mining points to get down past floor 50. You can see that I made it to floor 67 before finally coming back up. The next goal will probably be floor 75. I would imagine at 75, if I don't have enough mining points, it'll probably stop me there. But uh, getting down past 50 was actually the deepest I'd ever been in the mines uh, playing this game ever. And once you get past floor 50, it's a gold mine, literally, because once you get past 50, you start to get everything thrown into the mix. So you start to be able to find uh, gold and silver and copper and all of those ores mixed in. You're able to find all of your gems. I was also able to find orichalcum very, very easily. I managed to get a lot added to my collection here. You'll also start to find adamantite sprinkled in randomly. Uh, I also started to find some diamonds. The mistral is a new type of ore that I had never found before. And on floor 50, the unique item that you get is the mythic stones. Now, from what I understand, these can be used to upgrade your furniture. You can bring these to Ganon and he can do some upgrades for you. I think you need a lot of these though. Um, so I'm going to save them for now and just kind of play around with what it is that I could possibly do with those. But now that I've made it to floor 50, basically next time I go mining, I'm just going to get down to 50 as quickly as humanly possible. I'm just going to not even bother really using my stamina for hitting rocks until I get to 50 because the amount of stuff that I was finding was just phenomenal. I mean, there was still junk ore, but there was significantly less uh, junk ore than the earlier floors. And I should have shipped some of this to make a little bit of money, but I wanted to keep it all in my rucksack just so you get a really good idea about just how much I was able to find in one trip. Now keep in mind, because I'm playing on the emulator, I had the luxury of saving and reloading, and it probably took me like two or three days of just kind of casually playing and saving and reloading to get down to where I was. So it's uh, very time consuming, but it's very, very worth it because of all of the great supplies that you get. So I'm gonna be putting all of my uh, or a calcum, all of my adamantite away. I've got lots of adamantite to add some makers into the maker shed now, which is absolutely fantastic. I've also put away a high quality topaz and a high quality ruby because I think that these could possibly get me first place in the mining festival. I think you only need a quality of six in order to win. And these are about six and a half. So I kind of just put those to the side, uh, crossing my fingers, hoping that they're going to work for us um, come winter time. And the farther that I go down into the mine, the easier it was to find higher quality ores, of course. I'm putting away some silver and uh, some copper because they're not worth very much. And also, I can use these later on in order to uh, cook up some golden lumber if my cooking level ever gets to a good enough level that I can actually utilize that. 
So the rest of this, uh, I'm also going to store the mythic stones. Uh, but the rest of this I can sell, and I think I'll get a pretty decent profit off of this. Um, which will be great. It'll just add to my money amount. And we can start looking into buying some more expensive things. So the first of the month tomorrow is going to be a Friday, which is kind of a bummer because it means that we can't start planting our crops right away. We're going to have to wait an extra day. I also put all of my tools away when I went mining just to make some room. So I better put everything back so I can use them again. That looks good. Go put some of that, some of those gems in the shipping box. My, some of my rice should also be ready tomorrow, but I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna hold off on actually uh, cutting that because I won't be able to cut all of it because I planted them a little bit apart from each other. So I can kind of just check on the rice every single day and cut it down obviously before it spoils and rots. Um, but I can possibly wait until the other batch comes in as well and then I only have to kind of uh, swap wonderful and chop everything once. So I am very excited to see how much money I'm going to get for all this stuff tomorrow. It should be a good chunk of cash, I hope. You can see that I have 48 pieces of gold, which is lovely because that means that I have a lot of gifts that I can give to Lily and once she gets to a red heart, if I don't feel like giving these to her as a gift uh, anymore, I can store them in my house and I can also store them for a time when I have the opportunity to make golden lumber. So for now, I guess tomorrow what we can do is just kind of get the field ready. I'm just going to pop in and see if I've talked to the sprites today. It looks like the uh, fishing sprite is back from the last job I sent it on. The dark green team still isn't back. I feel like they've been gone for a whole month. Uh, which is probably pretty accurate because I think their resting period is like 21 days or 23 days or something like that. So I'm eagerly awaiting for them to return so that I can start to buy some makers from them. And one of the reasons I decided to uh, record on this day rather than on fall uh, day one is because we get this event when we wake up in the morning on our first day of fall. I think it's about time for me to return to Mineral Town. I plan on coming again next summer, so I'll see you then. Take care. So yep, yeah, Doctor is uh, leaving town. We won't see him again for another year. We will have some more visitors, but they will not be coming until tomorrow. So when we wake up tomorrow, fall day two, they will be introducing themselves and we get to see what our new Mineral Town uh, visitors look like. So if we look at the calendar here, you can see that uh, fall <laughs> Uh, in comparison to summer, I feel, um, has few events. There's not really a whole lot going on in the fall. We have quite a few birthdays, though, I will say, uh, to kind of keep an eye out for. The fifth day of fall is our cow festival. We have the harvest festival on the 10th day of fall. We have the dog festival on the 16th. I'm really looking forward to that because I think we have a really good shot at winning this year because our dog's uh, hearts have been significantly increased over time. And then it's a whole 
two weeks until we get to the end of fall for the crop festival and the pumpkin festival. So we got to keep in mind that we have to grow carrots this year for Felicia. And so I guess I'm going to just put the animals outside. I had to leave them inside yesterday, of course, because of the rain. So I'm going to bring them back out, let them enjoy the beautiful sunshine. I think I forgot to push my horse out after uh, the last couple of times I had to put it inside for the rain because it's such a pain to get it to come back in, but I'll let it run around for a little while. I will also feed them, of course. Should also bring my chickens back outside, my cow, my sheep. But before I do that, I wanna go have a look at our rice because it should be in by now. So you can see the contrast between uh, rice that is not quite ready uh, to come in yet and rice that is ready. You can see that it's that beautiful golden yellow and most of it we can see here that I planted early uh, is ready to come in but we also have quite a bit of it that needs a little bit longer to grow so that's why I'm holding off. I'm gonna kind of worry about that a little bit later. Um, these apple trees, I don't see flowering or anything, so I'm a little worried that even though they have grown to the kind of final mature stage, they weren't ready quite in time for us to be able to get fruit off of it for fall, uh, which honestly is pretty frustrating. But it is what it is. And if that's the case, we just have to live with it and we're gonna have to just wait until next year. And there's nothing we can do about that. But I'll be keeping an eye out on my trees. I do have to water the rest of them that aren't fully mature. I'm still keeping an eye on the weather. I will often fast forward the game. I'll just kind of sleep, uh, wake up, sleep and wake up just to see what the weather is gonna be like. Uh, which is also useful when planting crops and bringing the animals outside and such as well. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do a lot of our planting tomorrow. We're going to have to see what is available from Chen's store. We should have some more options uh, from last year. We should have more farming points which should allow us to unlock some more options, of course, which is always nice. So I'm just gonna take care of the animals here and then I'll probably call it quits after that because uh, the rest of my time today will probably be spent getting the field ready. I'll be tilling the soil and just kind of cleaning up all of the uh, weeds boring stuff, nothing that's really <laughs> fun or exciting to watch. And then I'll put some rocks in the way here just to keep my uh, animals fenced in. I suppose I should just put some stone there. I don't have any rocks on me. Come on, sheep. Get out of my way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but that'll work. And I have my clippers and I have my milker, so I'll worry about that later. But tomorrow will be a good day to record another video because we have to... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Let's trigger this heart event while we're here. That'll close things out. I completely forgot about... <laughs> Uh, Lily's yellow heart, which is fine by me. This is a kind of a kind of a bad day to do this because it sort of wastes the entire day, but that's okay. It's happening. We're here. Let's go out with Lily. I can always save and reload. It's not like I did much today. 
I'm excited to see where she's going to take us. I've never been to this island, so I need to check it out. Oh, we're on the Mystic Islands. I was like, I don't know where we are. Ah, an indigenous house of worship. I find myself most intrigued. Let's go in. Wow, Nick, what's this? The Harvest Goddess, she radiates a beauty and grace like no other. If I had that statue, I could be rich. Kidding, I wouldn't do something blasphemous like that. I bet the Harvest Goddess will grant my wish, please. Please make the day longer so I can talk more with Nick. Just kidding. Though, that would be nice. It is a lot to ask of the Harvest Goddess. We'll just have to make the most of the day we have. Let's keep exploring. That was a really nice event. I enjoyed that. So, anyways, surprise! I wasn't expecting uh, that to happen, but uh, that's the last of Lily's events. And I really had nothing else going on in this video, so there you have it. And just out of curiosity, I want to see... Yeah, I made uh, close to $20,000 selling all of those ores from yesterday, which is crazy. Uh, so trips down to the mine are definitely worth it. Sometimes it's just very, very uh, time consuming. So that has uh, upped my total amount of money by quite a bit. Uh, and that opens the door to upgrading even more now. So I'm definitely going to have to see what it is that I want to buy. And uh, I will be back on fall day two to continue looking into what fall of year two has in store for us. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.